once you've moved the <coughs> or jogged the robot into position uh, you can then save the, the the new point okay so press uh, ensure that you have the right tool selected so i'm on my tool which is perfect uh, and then press teach target now we're ready to create the path so pull down path press auto path press shift on the keyboard select the top of the object and because there's some uh, curvature on this uh, object I'm going to press the circle of path and then press create and close okay we can see now that we we have created uh, a number of targets and then the pat with the move instructions so we have linear moves and then a circular move and so on as the the tool makes its way around the component okay i need to check the orientation and configuration of the robot so if i look at target 20 configuration looks okay I can flick through and look at the different the orientations of the tool as it makes its way around. All right, target 20 is the correct orientation that I'm looking for. The face of the tool is facing back towards the robot, so I'm going to right click and copy the orientation. Holding down shift, press the last um, point, right click and apply orientation. Okay, now we can see that the tool orientation is good as, as we make our way around that. All right. uh, for the pat, so I click on the pat, right click, configuration, auto configure. Select the first uh, orientation, that's perfect. Press apply. Okay, now. What I would like to also do is to include target 10, the first. Uh, so if I just view the robot at a target, the, uh, this is the, the starting position that I would like to start from and then return back to. So on target 10, I right click, add the pad uh, as the first point, right click, add the pad, pad 10, and add as the last point. Now, if um, the movement to target 10 and from, sorry, the wrong way, the wrong order there, so I'm just going to drag that above it. Right. Oh. And drag 20 down, okay, so 10 down to 20 and then along 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and then back to 10. Right. Now the movement to 10 and from 10 to 20, so from movement of the robot to 10 to 20 and back up to 10, these movements, uh, they don't need to be uh, linear movements. In fact, they can't be because the, the robot is at a, a slight angle. So um, I'm going to change these to joint. So I'll right click, edit instruction, change from linear to joint and apply. Close. The movements along the hat, I would like to slow down the movement and I would like to set the robot resolution to fine. So again, select the movements here from 30 to 110, right click, edit instruction, let us take the speed down to 100 and the resolution, let us set it at fine and apply. Close. We're going to check out the movement of the robot. So right click, move along path. So we should have a rapid advance down to point 20. And then slowly the robot makes its way along the contours of the component. Going through the circular arc and then the semicircle. And then back rapidly advancing. So that's perfect. We can save it there. Thank you.